In this video, we're going to see how to get started with Java 17 in Visual Studio Code. So in this environment, I got only two extensions, the language support for Java by Red Hat and the debugger for Java by Microsoft. So first, uh, I'm in an empty folder and I'm going to create a hello.java file. Once the file is created, you'll see the language server is, started, is starting. And then when, once it's started, I can uh, start typing the content with a class snippet and then a domain snippet. Um, and then I can go on with a uh, system out. Um, I'm going to create a statement hello from Java with the Java version. So system.get property uh, java.version. And then I will just have to save the file and run it. And we'll compile and execute the, the, the class and we'll say hello from Java 11, which is the Java version run used to run my extension. So the first thing I want to do is uh, make it faster. So um, there's a couple um, settings to, to enable to run the, um, the code in the debug console. Uh, once that is set, um, you'll see that it runs much faster. Um, it still says Java 11, so we're going to fix that next. So back to the settings, I'm going to create a new uh, configuration environment. Uh, so java.configuration.runtimes, um, I'm going to create a new Java 17 uh, entry. So name Java 17. I will then uh, set the path to my JDK. So I'm currently using SDK man uh, to manage my uh, different JDK environments. So in this case, I will use uh, the Java 17 runtime from uh, the Temurin project. Um, and don't forget to set the this runtime as the default uh, Java runtime. So back to my hello class, I can run it again, and then it now runs with Java 17. So now I can actually show you actual Java 17 features. The first one is the sealed classes. So I'm going to create a shape.java interface, and um, I'm going to add the sealed um, keyword. So sealed classes uh, allow me to restrict the number of impl implementations of a given interface or, or, or class. So I'm going to permit uh, a rectangle for my shape and a circle. So obviously the classes don't exist. So I'm going to use quick fixes to create the rectangle first and the circle. I'll save the file and go to uh, the rectangle to add a couple of things. So as you can see, it's a final class. It cannot be extended. So I'm going to add um, a width and a, and a length uh, fields for my rectangle and generate constructors out of uh, those attributes. And I will also uh, create a toString implementation. Um, and then I'll do basically the same thing for the circle with a radius, um, a public double radius. create a constructor as well, and then create a toString method. All right, so now I have uh, all my classes um, that uh, extend the interface shape, and I want to compute their area. So I'm going to create a rectangle instance uh, first. With a width of one, length of two, uh, and I'm going to implement the missing method area. Uh, it's not going to be a rectangle, but a shape. And then I will rename it to shape as well. Now, in order to implement my area method, I'm going to use another Java 17 feature called pattern matching in Swiss expressions. So it's still a preview feature in Java 17. So normally you would have to manually set the dash dash enable preview flag in your Maven or Gradle build. 
but here we simply open a folder without any build tool. So we have an unmanaged project, so to speak. Fortunately, in such cases, um, if you're uh, compiling against the latest Java version, uh, VS Code Java will automatically enable preview features for you. So now I'm going to create a local variable var uh, area that will receive the uh, result of a switch expression. So I'm going to switch over the shape and I will switch to a case of rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is the rectangle length multiplied by its width. And as you can see, a uh, switch expression should have a default case to cover all cases. But um, I'm using sealed classes. So if I add a case circle, which area will be uh, math.py multiplied by um, the radius squared. So now I've covered all cases, so I no longer have an error. So I can uh, display um, the area of my shape. So uh, shape plus area equals area. And I just have to uh, now run the code and my uh, in the debug console my rectangle has an area of 2 I do the same thing for a circle of radius 2 run it and get an area of 12.5 but what happens for a null value so if I run it, as you would expect, you will see a null pointer exception. Fortunately, the new pattern matching supports uh, null cases now. So in that in case of null, I will just uh, return uh, the value zero. When I save the file, run it, um, I no longer get the uh, null pointer exception, get the null area equals zero, and everything is fine. So that's it for today, a quick introduction to Java 17 in VS Code Java. Thanks for watching.